Hey folks, got an interesting cheese related video. And I say cheese because it's uh, Velveeta versus Kraft Singles. Recently, uh, I th earlier, or this, or this past week was National Cheeseburger Day. And one of the talk shows I listened to, they were talking about cheeseburgers and the one question about cheeseburgers that they were talking about, and it got a lot of discussion going, is like, what kind of cheese do you put on your cheeseburger? Personally, I like Kraft American Singles on mine because it melts really well. So it devolved into a discussion about Velveeta versus Kraft. And uh, and even on, on their online, it, it, people were going off about the differences between Kraft and Velveeta. And saying they're the same thing and blah, blah, blah. And I I decided to look into it and they're not the same thing. Now, they are owned by the same company. Velveeta was actually, it was originally created in 1923 in Monroe, New York. And then it was later acquired by Kraft Foods in 1927. So I didn't realize that was that that soon that uh, Kraft had bought Val Velveeta. I thought Velveeta had been its own company for a, you know a much longer time, but they are both incredibly different. So we have par pasteurized recipe cheese product. That's how they have to call this. Uh, the FDA came down on them in uh, 2002. Said no, you're not a pasteurized American processed cheese. You're, you're, you're something else because they used, they used something else. Uh, they didn't actually use any cheese. I think it's because they use like uh, whey and stuff like that. But Kraft, Kraft Singles is a pasteurized prepared cheese product. And it's made with real dairy. Uh, I guess technically you could say real dairy because it comes from whey. But if we look at the uh, ingredients list on the Kraft Singles, the first ingredient on Kraft Singles is cheddar cheese. Then it just you know goes into it. The first ingredient on uh, Velveeta is whey. Whey, which it says whey, milk, milk protein concentrate. Modified food starch, canola oil, and it goes on from there. So that's the big difference. This is actual cheese. It is processed American cheese. This is a cheese byproduct. So, but I have always liked Velveeta, and everybody's familiar with Velveeta. I, I'm not sure when they actually. I, it's pr probably been within the past 10 years or so that they actually have the, the slices like this. Everybody's always familiar with, you know, the big chunk, the big box of Velveeta. And, you know, Kraft has always been promoting that as like something for making queso. You know, you chunk up a bunch of uh, Velveeta cheese, throw it in a crock pot with uh, some, some chilies or, you know, some salsa, and then you let it melt really good. So... They both melt really well. Velveeta actually got its name because of its uh, from its original its creator that it melted velvetly velvetly smooth. So that's how Velveeta actually got its name. But yeah, they are owned by Kraft Foods. So the big thing is how do they taste? So let me get these opened up and uh, give it a taste test. Okay, here we have it, Velveeta. Craft. Just by looking at it, the Velveeta is a darker yellow. I hope the camera can pick that up. But yeah, this is definitely a darker yellow. Okay. Yep. They both have the same uh, opening, you know. I've I've noticed that some of the cheaper uh, store brands don't use that same method, and it's kind of a struggle sometimes to get those out of the wrapper. So, let's start with the Velveeta first. Give it that a taste. Mm. 
Velveeta definitely feels different. It feels different. Yeah, that tastes like Velveeta. I mean, I think we all know that flavor. Tears about the same. And then the craft single. Yeah, I, I like the craft singles. The flavor is better. There's it, it's it's tangier because it's it's it has it's cheddar cheese, so it has that that cheddar cheese tang. Um, the Velveeta is fine. Um, let me see about melting. Stay tuned. Come back. Now this has been 10 seconds, both of these 10 seconds in the microwave. These are a half a slice. I uh, didn't want to put a full slice because that was just way too much cheese. This is the Kraft, Kraft, Kraft single. And this is Velveeta. The Velveeta looks like it definitely melted because it was it was bubbling up. It melted a little bit more than the Kraft. So give that a bite of the Kraft. It's nice. It's it's, it's a nice melt. Okay. Now for the Velveeta. There you have it. I, frankly, I think they both melted well. I, I do prefer this kind of cheese on a cheeseburger because it does these these two types of cheese melt really well. I like the flavor better of the Kraft singles, especially for cheeseburgers. I'm making cheeseburgers tonight for dinner, so I I wanted to pick up some Kraft singles and I thought about doing this video. So I'm like, let me pick up some Velveeta as well, and. Uh, let y'all know what I think. Overall, they're both pretty decent products. They're not, you know, a, a full actual cheese, you know, like a cheddar, Munster, whatever, but they are what they are, and they do make good hamburger, cheeseburgers. So, there you have it, folks. Kraft Singles versus Velveeta. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.